This is still a bit messy, so and I want uh, the grass to regrow. This was absolutely uh, a weed-infested patch that oh, yeah, I attacked. I yeah, no, I know that. And just so that I can let the grass recover, I want uh, the horses off here. Yes, the neighbors came and uh, helped us because that back patch was also just one big mess of deadfall and dead trees and hung up big tops and dangerous and it was just a mess and burdock and thistle infested. It was outrageous. It's already like because Mishka and I have walked up that alleyway so to speak if we want to call it such before and it, 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 it already feels much more inviting I think for for uh, the horses. That looks like you've done like a good, a good amount of clearing out. Clearing out of the uh, of the run-in. Oh it was absolutely full of bullshit literally. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I would assume that this is like more of a, 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 a the kind of area that the, that the horses would like more often because it's it's a little bit more meadowy yes it's a little bit more open this is meant for kind of chilling for hanging out the track is for keeping them moving and these open areas are for chilling out and i opened it up around the run-in because then no matter where the wind is coming from no matter where the weather is coming from they can always find a spot out of the wind out of the elements and yep. this is just such a nice little sheltered and yet open little corral. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if you spend even a little bit more time clearing out some more of the dead branches, even here will we'll even give a, a greater appearance of openness. For my money, planted too close together, right? As far as I'm concerned. The oh, these are, 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 are way too, too close. close together. Yes, and like that's what probably weakened do, them. Prob pro probably do well to like, like call every second one. Right, just, it, I mean, for the sake of better growth, there is no chance for, for the bottoms of these trees to, 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 you know, do anything other than what they're doing now, which is they're starving for life, right? So that's why they die. You know, like, like yeah, I know. And we already took so many dead branches off, but I'll show you well, a little gem. And it, and, it, and it makes a huge difference. That's why, I'm, you know, like I, I can see that even, you know, even if I wasn't seeing little knobs, you know, like I'm clear where I can see where you've cut them off of off of the trees just visually on a quick on a quick look visually you know it, it's much cleaner oh I yeah I guess that's my thing like for the horses I mean even though this is sheltered you know on the one hand they you know there's a clear line of sight you know through most of this I mean you can see the fence and and the cars passing on Shaw's Creek Road over there for instance right they're not obscured and that's important for horses sidelines being uh, prey animals. Mm -hmm. Jeff is going to take these branches down again for the same reason as you were mentioning. Uh, they're dead or dying and really need to come off. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will also, oh, there's a woodpecker in there. Do you see it? Not right now, I hear it. There it is, yep. There I go, there it went. Yep. <gasps> Very sweet. It right but that also tells you that this is a tree that is decaying because it has a lot of. Uh, uh, insects and and stuff living in it. Well, yeah, I mean, fair enough. I mean, but he's going to take those branches off. That and, and, and some of these ones beside it. I mean, when you look at the color, like for instance, like that, those are dead branches, mostly dead branches there. Clearing out some of these here would also help to facilitate that. Hey, motorcycle. <laughs> Just letting you know who's who in the zoo. <laughs> oh,
Brody.